We are um, the service within the hospital that helps support children and families through their hospitalization. So we were, our profession really evolved that we knew that um, all these medical advances were really helping children get better and survive a lot of childhood illnesses, um, but they were being traumatized from their experiences, um, especially experiences in early childhood. So we utilized that knowledge in this, in this setting because we recognize that um, it does take more than medicine to help children get better. And um, we really are talking about the whole child. So helping kids still be kids while they're going through all those treatments and helping parents still be parents um, within that. Depending on the child's developmental age, we can prepare kids for surgeries through a number of different means. So we have our medical toy, our medical toy dolls with our medical play kits, um, as you can see here, so we do a lot of play. We also have our little prep machines, like this one for the MRI, so if patients are coming for MRIs under general anesthesia, they have a chance to actually see what the MRI machine would be like. Um, and while we're playing, we help discuss you know, what the child's role is, any sort of stress points that come along with that procedure. But the purpose is that they can get all of that information while they're here without the stress of actually having the procedure that day so that they can rehearse some of the coping strategies, they can learn about what their role is. We help prepare parents about how they can best support their child as well so that when they come back for their procedure on the day of, they're informed, they feel like they have a sense of control and hopefully they're more ready for the procedure that they're going through. There's so many different things that I love about child life and I think the biggest thing I love about this job is that we can help so many different people from so many different backgrounds and ages all through play. Um, since I've come to Sidra, there's been countless magic moments that I've had with families who, you know, we come from completely different cultures, we speak different languages, but at the end of the day, if I know that I've helped a, a mother support her child going in for induction, if I've helped support a four-year-old who's going for a major surgery, then I've done my job if I feel like the family feels supported. March is Child Life Month, so to celebrate that, we have a booth set up. So we wanted to just showcase some of what we do and educate staff in the community about our job here. Also are doing a little game where if you answer a question right, um, you get to take you to Smarty for being so smart. So if you want to try, you're welcome to play. Perfect! Perfect. Yay. Yay. Nice job, nice job. You are Smarties. <laughs> The inpatient child life team here at SIDRA um, has the best job ever. Um, it's our job to be joyful, um, bring joy to patients and family, as well as to uh, staff. And we do a lot of that through play. One really great example of play in the playroom here at SIDRA that's occurred um, at one of our very first inpatients and the very first patient that utilized the playroom um, here on 6B. Uh, he walked into the playroom and this was a school-aged child and had been in the hospital many, many times in his life. And he walked into the playroom and he just raised his hands in the air and he pumped his fists and he just yelled, this is the best day of my life. And I was, it was beautiful because it was, it was a beautiful picture of what Sidra means for the children of Qatar. So this child just fully understood this hospital is for me and he connected so much with play and that's what we wanna foster, children who can cope and be successful in an overwhelming environment because they're supported in a very developmentally appropriate way.